How is the Scotch egg? It's like a sausage that won't finish. <laughs> what about this? It's beautiful. Yeah, but that's a sausage roll. All you got with that is reflux. <laughs> but this is pure sausage meat. That's going to give me heartburn, but this is just going to sit inside me <laughs> and in about ten years' time stop me stone dead in the street. <laughs> <laughs> coat that you wear that you can put all your shopping in. <laughs> and, of course, milk. Oh, what a drag. <gasps> got to carry milk around with you. No, you don't. You just pour it in there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lean forward, otherwise milk's going to go Careful. <laughs> oh, God, imagine that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then you just go out of the shop. I've got here is some vegetarian sausages wrapped in vegetarian bacon, or as I call them, quigs in quankets. <laughs> See, that food is like, it's the food equivalent of a bus replacement service, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Sean, do you have a mascot? Well, Jimmy, uh, I have. I've decided to make, if you'd like to help me, Fabio, bring on my countdown cocktail I'm going to make. <laughs> which is a cocktail oh, made this... from drinks from every letter of the alphabet. Thank you, dear. <laughs> this... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if this is genuine booze, we're, we're already in a lot of trouble. <laughs> so here we go. And I've got, a, obviously, a special glass for it to be in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is the making of the countdown cocktail. I've obviously tried it. It's delicious. <laughs> we start with some, uh, just as a base drink, just a bit of amaretto. <laughs> That's like that. That's, That's a, 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 a for fine, amaretto. A fine base, yeah, lovely. A. And then there's some umbongo. <laughs> That's beautifully poured there. Yeah. That's something from cocktail. <laughs> C, cheeky half. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Lovely. <laughs> Balances the flavours. <laughs> well, what's on every cocktail these days? Espresso. <laughs> and then some vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I've created a range of products for the middle class prepper. Obviously, they will miss pesto. So I sell uh, <laughs> this particular brand of pestle and mortar which is a stone with another stone on top, but they don't know that, these people. <laughs> and you get some nettles and some tree sap, which I sell in these bottles, and then you can't get pine nuts, so you lick a pine cone. It's like Saturday morning kitchen on acid, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh. Joe! <laughs> oh, Joe! They sting a bit on the lip. <laughs> oh, my God. And that's... <laughs> Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, then there's the guest ale. <laughs> oh, not the whole thing. Interesting. God, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then <a> half. <laughs> and then, of course, what do you need for every cocktail? You need some ice, don't you? One, two. Hey, it's party time. Three. <laughs> Chin. <laughs> Ch chin, did you say? Pardon? What did you say? <laughs> what was that? Ch chin. Chin. <laughs> then, of course, K is Kiora. <laughs> Has that been mm. watered down at all or is that neat? That's neat. Oh, so is that <laughs> double concentrate we're looking at? Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh sure. Oh, How easy. I'm not drinking the toilet cleaner. <laughs> Channel 4 have asked me to help bring a younger generation back into the show, which obviously what young people like is innuendo. Uh, so they've given me... Uh, this is my mascot for today. Uh, that's two large baps. <laughs> <laughs> and they've given me this, which is uh, my innuendo horn. And if at any point people say something that's an innuendo, I have to uh, give them the horn. <laughs> During the evening, you could give me the horn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put some uh, some stuff on this sausage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> a very very fine drink, Liebfrau Milch, <laughs> which is the milk of a loved woman. <laughs> there we go. We got right up to M. <laughs> mead. Oh, I like You'll like that. Actually, you should yeah, try some of that. Nice. And then N is nog without the egg. <laughs> 
That's curdled it up real nice, that. <laughs> and what's next? Oh, Uzo. <laughs> Oh. I only put this in to help the Greek economy. <laughs> <laughs> P. Lovely bit of pesto. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how much do you put in just one finger's worth? Yeah, just a finger flick. <laughs> 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 Oh, have you got a Veruca? <laughs> Would anyone like some wine? I made some wine. Cheers, Fabio. Thank, thank you very, very much. Welcome. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, um, I apologise. Yeah, he didn't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, I'm terribly sorry, he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> See why he doesn't wear any clothes to work, though. No. <laughs> 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 I had a fact, he just stood there like, <laughs> yeah, that normally happens. <laughs> 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 it always happens when I do this. Is it, it's on you, it's physically on you. Yeah. On... yeah, yeah. I love the way there's people here, like the president's been shot. <laughs> <laughs> and again, we gotta go, we've got a situation here, we've got to go. <laughs> Fabio's back with another glass of wine. If you spill this on short again, I imagine you're going to be losing teeth. Give it a crack. <laughs> What's he come back with another one for? You shit bastard. Nice of Q's Cointreau. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> this would be an ideal drink to have if you're just meeting up with a couple of friends and <laughs> going to the theatre or the cinema, you'd have one of these. Nothing too fussy. Before, if you were going to see a sort of like a, a drama, Shakespeare play or something like that, and you wanted something just to sort of like take the edge off the day. <laughs> <laughs> ah, rest of the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you've got knocking round at home, whatever it is. That's why it's always different. That's the fun. That's half the fun. Yes, um, champagne. There we go. <laughs> tea, some tea. <laughs> Not too much tea. You can really kill a, kill a good cocktail with tea. <laughs> v, Vimto. Oh, yeah. Again, creates a lot of balance. <laughs> and the colour don't change, does it? Johnny, we haven't quite finished yet, oh. have we? <laughs> Just a little bit to go. <laughs> Please, Papa, Look. I will practice the piano better next time. Do you want a wet one, Johnny? Oh, yeah, just the one. No, these... <laughs> no. If you could go back in time, Johnny, and talk to yourself age 15, what advice would you give yourself? Oh, er, uh, put down the Christmas cake. If you ever want to see your penis again without the use of a memory. W, I think no cocktail, no alpha, no piano and cocktails satisfied without a couple of whelks in it. <laughs> <laughs> X is X. <laughs> and that is very close to being made. And we just have one last ingredient here, which is really healthy, is the yakult. <laughs> Finally, zest of lemon, but not too much. You don't want to overpower the flavour. <laughs> there we go. There we a bit go. of lime. Lime. Okay. Lime. Sorry, best zest of lime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the whole thing's wasted. I <laughs> oh, forget it. Move on. No. <laughs> I forgot to put the U. Umbrella. Mm. Then you just have a straw. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> There's two I think it could do. It could do with a little bit more tea. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to try it. Would you like to try it? Just yeah, come try some. I've got I... some straws here. Please do. You need a nice That's and the spirit. <laughs> I'd like to try a little sip. <laughs> what do you think? Is that worse? <laughs> it's quite well, fruity. We could do a like, romantic like... thing where we drink it together. <laughs> <laughs> Three Mile Island oh, iced tea. No. 
work better, don't they? No, but it will. <laughs> you mess with Welk. <laughs> oh, you got Welk for a straw? Here you are. So you with shocking. every cocktail, you get a towel. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just less egg next time. Um, okay. A bit more Kiora. <laughs> would, would anyone like some? Oh, oh yeah, well, in there. Yeah, put well. a welcome. <laughs> no, I'll put it there on the side. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Just, oh. If any of that goes on me, this is over. <laughs> it's not your worst nightmare, this, isn't it, John? <laughs> End of that welk looks like an anus that's been done up on time to. It's just retired from the porn industry. <laughs> Sean's cocktail, everyone. <laughs> Have you heard of stripper and a steak? No. Have you heard... What's stripper and a steak? I've never heard of this. They said, Alan, hey, Alan, come come with us. We're going to go and have strippers and a steak. I mean, how pissed do you have to be to think that Alan Carr is the missing piece of your pussy patrol? <laughs> 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 <laughs>